Hello, everyone, and welcome to this ECL Pro Broadcast. I am Timo from the Baker and Timo Show, and I'm joined by Eki, as Lime had some technical difficulties on his end, as well as we did to start this broadcast. Sorry for the wait, but here we are. Eki, how you doing? Very good. Happy to happy to be here. I apologize in advance. Uh, haven't followed Pro that much, but I think we'll have a good show anyways. Yeah, we're going to make do with the information that we have at hand here, and we're going to have a break, great broadcast nonetheless. For sure. So first, we're going to take a look at some of the standings, I believe, before we get started here. All right, so here we have our standings for Group 1 going into Week 4. Uh, we have... We have JYP at the top of the list with 63 goals for and 38 goals against. And then we have the Deadly Phantoms at eighth in that group one. Uh, the top of group one and on the other side and Totorit at number nine. And then we have Penta rounding out the bottom at number 16. Uh, the teams that we have playing in our first matchup are going to be, we've got Hokurit and Hanna Hockey HC. So you can see them in the standings as well here. Hannah sitting in fourth and Holkerit sitting in fifth. So that's going to be a close matchup. Yeah, uh, big, game, big games today. Will these, these two teams will have a... Will ba like looks like they're battling for the same spot. So every point today today is crucial. I'm not surprised to see Juppat, Juppat one uh, Long time contender in the lead. Surprisingly dropped down to pro last season. But nice to see them. Back up there in the standings, if I would have to say, like, so far, uh, has been pretty disappointing for me personally, Visu Gaming, uh, with 7 wins in 16 games. In the offseason, I felt like they played they played very good, and I was expecting to be at the top tier of pro teams, but they can still make the playoffs, and everything, everything can happen. Like you said, everything can still happen in our second matchup. We have we have Totoret going up against Afro Dunk, and that's another close matchup in terms of the standings as we have Totoret at the nine and Afro Dunk at number ten. Yeah, we have super important games games today. Uh, only eight teams, eight teams make the playoffs, so huge, huge, huge matchups. Yep, like you said, with only eight teams making the playoffs, these are massive matchups here tonight, so I'm excited to see how this goes. Uh, next up, we're going to have our prize pool slash latest results to take a look at. As you can see, this is the ECL 22 Elite Prize Pool. Obviously, this is our pro broadcast, but nonetheless, you can take a look and see how it breaks down there before we do switch over to our latest results that will be brought to you by Eki. Yeah, uh, looking at the race, latest results. Looks like Visual Gaming. Uh, yeah, split split points. They really had to have to get those. Those are uh, full four point four point days to be able to able to go on the playoff hunt. Deadly Phantoms winning Dynastia uh, twice. Dynastia was at the, at the pretty top three, I, I believe, in the standings. So huge wins, huge wins from Deadly Phantoms and Yup continuing continuing at the top of the standings, winning two games against Olkurit, who we are actually going to cover now. Well said, we can now move on to take a look at tonight's lineups between our first matchup here. All right, there are our lineups. On the left side, we have Hokrit, and then on the right side, we have Hannah HC. So let's break it down. At center, we have Eserv. Uh, at right wing, we have Yoni. At left wing, we have Yondiz. At, at left D, we have MCH. And at right D, we have Senez. And then in goal tonight, we have Willanu. On the other side of things, for a Hannah HC, we have Mika at center. We have right wing, we have Hazard Laser. On the left wing, we have Liku. And on the left defense, we have Kongi. On the right defense, we have Repkasari. And then Gresu in net for Hannah HC. And that is how the lineups break down for our first matchup. All right, we have our center matchups here. 
And this is the center matchup for our first game. 20 games played on the left side, 18 games played on the other side. The points are close, although we do have to give the nod to Mika here. Uh, so a good matchup there at center. And, you know, these guys have pretty good faceoff percentages as well. We have 50.7 and 50.6. So, I mean, these guys are almost almost exactly the same. So it's going to be interesting to see how the game within the game plays out. For sure, and especially the face of battle. Face of battle is super interesting always. Always in uh, sixes, so very interested to follow that one especially. Up next, we have our wingers matchup. We'll let Eki take this one away, although it seems like we have a little bit of technical difficulties here. <laughs> we'll get that yeah, reloaded so, and here we go. So looking at the stats, uh, I feel like both of these teams attack by, from their left side a lot. Um, if you look at the time time with the puck, uh, that's new to new to NHL or sports gamer. You clearly see that uh, left wingers hold the puck the most from both teams in the offensive zone, and it shows it shows in points. Especially Leiku is leading his team by um, by seven points, and he's clearly leading in giveaways and time with the puck. So I I'm expecting to see the puck a lot uh, with the, in the left. Uh, left-handed or uh, left wingers stick to that. There you go. Like Eki said, expect to see a lot of the offense generated on the left side of the ice for both of these teams, and that is our winger matchup for the night. Now we're going to look over at our head-to-head -head defense matchup. We have on the left side of the defense, we have Henriksen, as we had mentioned earlier, as otherwise known as MCH. We have Senez. We have Kongi on the other side and Repiscotti. So what do you see here, Eki, that's standing out to you in terms of the defensive matchup? Uh, number one thing, clearly, uh, I'm saying 98 points, 30, 34 points in 20 games as a defenseman leading the league, um, leading, the, leading the defenseman in points, a huge number. I'm very much uh, expecting to see how he plays. Especially, and he's he's actually playing on the left side also, so that kind of con confirms to me that the that the game from Hokurit's side, especially, will will be on the on the left side a lot. But good good, uh, good points all around. I think uh, Hana Hose's defenders are a bit more even. If you look at the look at the points, eighteen and sixteen points, they they probably break it out pretty evenly from right and left side. But uh, looks like Hokurit has a clear. Clear number one, uh, puck moving defenseman, and Sane, Sane looks like a bit uh, more defensive defenseman with with 27 blocks and 10 points in 18 games. Yeah, you're not wrong. I mean, 34 points for a defenseman is pretty impressive. But now let's take a look at the goalie matchup for tonight. Both these goaltenders have played 12 games, a fairly close save percentage, although the nod goes to Gressu on the Hanna HC side. The record obviously here in favor of Gressu as well. 10-2-0. He has three shutouts to his name, which is very impressive. Eki, how do you think this is going to play in tonight's matchup? Yeah, Gressu has very uh, uh, very impressive stats. 84 save percentage, 10 and 2 record, three shutouts. Looks great, but Willinho also 81% save percentage. I think for me personally, everything over 80 in 6 v 6 NHL is great and both of these guys have that so I think we'll have an even and great uh, goalie battle I have to agree with you so now we're going to go take a look at some more latest results I believe alright so we've got our standings from group 2 not our latest results but nonetheless we can take a look at what we have here so we have reality check atop of the group 2 standings at the bottom we have Pata Halala um, what, what is standing out in this group 2 for you Eki? Mm, Pata Halala old elite team kinda kinda surprised to see them at, at last place but, but, but they were at the little a long time ago, but very this pro, both of these pro uh, pro groups very even, especially at the playoff line. From uh, from uh, fee five to like 13, 14, it's very tight differences, and uh, every every game seems seems to be super important here for to get those playoff spots. 
Yeah, I have to agree with you. Like you said, with the standings being so close, every game and every matchup matters a, a lot here. So, um, you know, as we said earlier in this broadcast, as we were starting, both of these matchups tonight are really close in terms of standings. So it's going to make a big difference to see who comes out on top. Yeah, for sure. All right, so here we are. We get our screen here, and it looks like we're going to get ready for this action between Hokkorit and Hanna HC. I'm excited to see how it goes. Eki and myself here will be on the call for you, and it uh, looks like we're getting ready to go here. Obviously, we have a new branding for NHL Gamer. At, now will be known as Sports Gamer GG. When you see that on Twitch, you see that new icon, don't be fooled. Make sure you tune into the broadcasts. Just a moment here before we get the game going. The classic NHL sinking issue here. So, But I think we're ready to get this action underway. Interesting, interesting to see who who goes goes off with a with a good start here. Starts are super important in sixes and uh, gets your gets your team going if you can get a goal early. Yeah, I mean hockey is obviously a game of momentum, and we'll certainly see how the start factors into things here tonight, as we have the game well underway here. All right, so we got the puck down low, trying to get out of their own zone, just trying to slow things down here. And they do get out through the neutral zone across now. A shot, oh! And it finds a way in, but it looks like this one's going to be waved off for possible goaltender interference here. Yeah, I think it's disallowed for goal interference. Uh, number three hit the goalie pretty hard there. But as you see, the breakout there from, from the left side, uh, I'm saying, oh, I'm so passed it up and scoring chance right away. Yeah, you called it earlier. I think we're going to see a lot more of that in this game as it presses on here. So another face off here and we're ready to go. A dump in from Hannah here as they dump that one all the way down. Now they have possession, trying to move back up through the neutral zone. Aaron pass, but they picked that one back up. Interesting thing I'm I'm seeing here is that uh, Yoni in the right wing right here has a nice... Nice play there to get the get the penalty, but he's actually playing with the right hand stick in the right side. Not not something you see a lot lot a lot in six v six hockey because yeah, you're kind of used of to teams the off usually hand. go for those one timers. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. The off hand makes it easier for that one timer chance, but we'll see how that plays into things here as we have our first power play of the <laughs> evening. Sorry, my dog wants to be part of the broadcast this evening, folks. I didn't know we had another one on the broadcast, but here we are. <laughs> Yeah, on the power play, I think that right-handed stick on the right side really, really kind of disturbs things. I would expect Yoni to move a bit to the middle and maybe maybe the center for Hokurit would go to the right side. But we'll see what happens. And they try to get one on from the point. It looks like that one was tipped right in front. A nice save there. <laughs> In the power play, I feel like it's very important to move the move the puck quickly and uh, wait wait for that wait for that perfect opportunity. Sometimes those point shots without anybody in front is, are not the best best shots to take. Yeah, especially when no it comes to getting your secondary chances as well. You know, it might be hard to get the puck on those chances, but so far not much going on this power play aside from the one point shot that was tipped another tip though it looks like they're gonna try to use someone in front there the center and try to get a lot of tips on net maybe they have the big tipper for the x factor how do you think that would play into things Zaki? yeah i didn't actually see if the center has an x factor but uh yeah hokurit is very shooting the puck a lot uh, I have a big big tipper with my uh, build personally i think it's very overpowered in this game so i would Yes, I would have one forward with Big Tipper for sure in your team. So if those just keep to be open, if those continue to be open, I see no no reason not to shoot those rebounds and tips. All right, so that's the end of the first power play so far this evening. Not much going on. A couple of chances from the point that were tipped. But now we're going back the other way. Down into the offensive zone, working off the boards. Tries to throw one on, but a nice block. Oh, they get the puck back and they throw one on, but a nice easy save there. 
10 yeah. minutes and 25 seconds left to go here. And they do win the draw in the defensive zone and go back the other direction. Yoni drops that one back. They try to get it in over the blue line, but they lose possession. Now we're going to head back the other way in over the blue line, but it's lost. Picked up again, though. Trying to circle out from behind the net and get one on, but nothing there. All right, here they are trying to get in over the blue line, but that one is going to be offside and blown down for a whistle. What have you seen so far, Eki, here that has is, is struck you as, as important so far in this game? Uh, I feel like both teams are kind of feeling themselves uh, out, out so far. I feel like Hokurit is very, have opened the play very good, and every time they've gotten up, they've, they've usually... Usually got to the got to the zone with the puck, so I feel like Hana is kind of struggling a bit more in the zone entries. But yeah, long way to go. Yeah, that's a fair assessment. And like you said, you know, there's a long way to go yet here. With you know, there's a lot of time left. Six minutes and 43 seconds left in the first period of play. Face off at the blue line, and they win that one and try to get down into the other offensive zone. And that one's gonna go all the way down for an icing. We Interesting to see, see here if Hokurit has any uh, offensive zone phase of play set up. It's, it's a great way to score. Yeah, I mean, it's set plays, uh, if you can win that draw, like we said earlier, the faceoffs are so close in this matchup. Honestly, only off by one point of a percentage. And there you go, another shot from the point. That one, big tipper at the side of the net, finds its way through, and we have a one goal lead. Yeah, we were talking about the big tipper earlier on. Looks like... Uh, uh, looks like uh, es Esrva has that, so there you go, throw pucks at the net, you have the big tipper there. When he's wide open at the net, he, those don't miss. No, it's hard to stop for the goalies this year, especially like you had said, you know, that X factor is pretty overpowered. We don't know if he has big tipper on, but it certainly seems like it, the way they've been conducting their, off their offense so far here. Nice rebound yeah. chance there, big save though. Yeah, Hokurit is clearly going for plenty of shots from the blue line. So, Do you think we could I'm see them mixing that up at some point here? Yeah, maybe, but at the same time, if the in front of the net uh, continues to be open and they can get those shots shots through That's to the true. goal from the blue line. Why, why yeah, I mean, if, if Hannah's not going to adjust, I mean, we could see a lot more of this, correct? Yeah, exactly. If it's not broke, don't fix it. It's the, it's the most important thing in this game, though. Uh, protect your oh, protect your own net and be sure those blue line shots uh, don't get through to the net because tips and rebounds are, are so effective. Hoker at doing a pretty good job so far here on the defensive side of things. Not a lot finding its way through to the net so far with 30 seconds remaining in this first period of play. Yeah, Hana is kind of kind of struggling to create, to create good good scoring chances so far but uh, I'm sure the more more looks they get at Hanas uh Hogwarts defense the better better they will get at reading reading those good offensive some plays exactly and here we have the play of the period the shot from the point tipped twice by the looks of it it almost looks like it went off a defenseman's stick as well before finding its way to the tape and in the back of the net yeah perfect perfect day to day play and then uh, Guy, uh, Hogwarts center pretty wide open at the front of the net. You, you just can't have that in this in this game. Now, as we said, not a lot of shots so far in this game for Hannah. Only two shots. Um, you know they're gonna have to get a lot more offense going to get back into this game. Yeah, I would like to. I would like to see uh, Hannah if they can't get their cycle going, passing, passing play going. Um, I would I would go kind of the Hokurit right here, route here. To try to get some guys in in front of the net and throw some rebounds. Good things can happen when you shoot. Yeah, and as we said before this matchup, we do have a couple of solid goaltenders. You know, on the on Hannah's side, you, they've got almost an 84% save percentage, so it's up there. And on the other side, 81. So getting there in terms of this game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I don't see. I don't think we'll we're going to see goalies or low low many easy goals at all at all in this series 
All right, getting ready for a draw in the offensive zone for Hannah, but they lose that one. We have Holkerit now working through the neutral zone, but they lose possession, but there was actually a tripping call on the play, so we're going to see another power play the second of the evening. That's a play uh, Holkerit has done a couple of times. I'm sorry, I'll bring the puck up and then uh, the left winger. Yonda moving to the middle, and, uh, and that's perfect time cut there, that time it took. They got the power play out of it. Big offensive zone face-off, and they do win it. Another point shot as... The defensemen trade back and forth before firing that one on net. No tip that time by the looks of it, though. I would personally hold it especially on the power play. Keep keep looking for the be for a better scoring chance. Uh, yeah, those the, the shots are good, and especially when you have guys in front. But especially when you have the man, adv man advantage, you you have space to build a build space in front of the net. And just like that, we have another goal. They keep going back to the well of those point shots. And that time they get a big rebound. A nice goal there. But like you said, a lot of this offense developing from the left side of the ice. And that's a tough break for Gressu there as he cannot get the rebound. You got to have your defense on that one. Yeah, Hogarit is very good throwing the puck at the net. And they have a clear clear game plan here. Uh, I think Hana has need, just needs to adapt here. Take take so, the point away, take in front of the net away, and it will it will make Hokurit great plays, great plays uh, from the corners. That makes sense to me. Now we have Hannah trying to get some of their own offense going here, but that one was blocked. Now heading back the other direction, gets lost in center ice. Now breaking in, trying to drive the net, but that one gets knocked away. Mikkonen behind the net has possession up to Esser. Now in over the blue line. Nice little LT move, but he loses the puck. Hannah trying to go back the other way here as they break out of their own zone. Trying to take their time. Gets lost at the blue line. A little bit of patience here in the neutral zone as they go back to their own end to reset. I feel like this game is going exactly like how awkward it was. They're shutting down. Uh, uh -huh. Well, <laughs> you spoke too <laughs> soon, Eki. <laughs> You know, you feel like it's going your way. That's the thing about hockey, though, you know? It feels like it's going your way one minute, and then seconds later, we've got a goal. So now we only have a two-to-one lead. A nice feed across. A little yeah, what, backhander what a to get that back, one through. What a saucer back post. You don't see, you don't see those a lot. Great, great pass by... Uh, didn't, didn't see who it was, but... Finally, finally a great uh, zone entry by Hana and to the, to the front of the net right away. And, but that, that was all. That goal was all uh, all about that soldier. Beautiful pass in front. Certainly and all well. about the pass there. Yeah. Yoni yeah, sure. back to his D-man. Now Henriksen trying to work it up. Yoni now on the board. Or sorry, Mikkonen now on the boards. Throws that one around. MCH has possession. Throws it behind the net. Looks like they're trying to vary up the offense a little bit here. As you saw them yeah, getting a cycle going. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I'm surprised how Hana is defending if, uh, defending their own net. I feel like there's way too way, way too much space there. And uh, so far in this game, Esser has uh, clearly won the center battle, winning those winning those uh, pucks in front, and he scored two goals from it. Yeah, definitely a close center matchup, but the the nod going the other way for sure. So now we see Okret getting possession in their own zone, poked away, but the goalie's going to play this one, loses it. We've got an Aaron puck, and they go for the wrap, but it does not go home. What a sequence there. Yeah, Are that you was on close. the edge it's... of your seat? Oh, close one again. Yeah, it's tough for goalies this game to uh, go out and get the puck. The the animations and goalies are so slow moving. I I, I wouldn't personally do that. Yeah, that was a bit of Almost a risky play. play. They got lucky there. Yeah, Hogarit right. is forcing the play in front like almost every attack, and it seems to be working. So why why not continue to why why not continue to do it? If you were Hannah, what would you suggest to your defenseman here? Do they need to be collapsing in front of the net a little bit more? Yeah, yeah, for sure. And uh, <laughs> they're putting too much pressure into corners, in my opinion. It's clear that uh, Hogwarts wants to go through the defenseman and to the in front of the net pretty quickly. So I would just, 
I would just maybe let them have the puck in the corners a bit more. And uh, cover points, cover point, uh, wingers covering the points a bit more. And then have like a three man, three man stack in front. So those, those tips and those forces in front just aren't going through. Yeah, exactly. Get the center involved too, right? On the defensive side of things and just try to trace down those rebounds like you said and try to block some of those shots that are coming through from the point yeah center's play is super important in their own zone because defensemen always have to put some pressure at precisely least a bit of pressure in the corners so center has to be there to pick up those uh pick up those interceptions and lose pucks in the slot anna with possession in their own zone here just trying to get out and they do but big hit there as that puck finds its way out of the arena, or out of the ice. Another face-off here, out just outside of the offensive zone for Hannah, as they try to get another goal going here, down by one with two minutes remaining in the second period. Yeah, again, I was kind of slowed down here a bit. Not, there's not been a scoring chance in a while, but I'm sure we'll get one soon. Yeah, it seems like when you say something isn't happening, it tends to go the other way. So maybe, <laughs> yeah, maybe you'll get that happening for them, Eki. Yeah, for sure. 37 seconds remaining here. A possible offensive chance for Hannah if they can win this draw. And yeah, they have a right hand center as well. Didn't win it this time. But it's easier to win that backhand face off than the forehand one. Yeah, it definitely, definitely seems like Hokuritz center is getting the best of the center matchup so far this evening. For sure, and that was uh, one thing, one thing that was very interesting before the games. Both of the, both of the guys had 50% face offs percentage, which is good, but uh, it's, it still can be better. The best centers in the league have close to 60. So, so, so well, yeah, two pre pretty average centers, I would say, and so far Hokuritz. Hokuritz Esner has been, I think, all over the center matchup against Mika. Two goals, winning the face-offs. Yeah, yeah I have pretty, to agree with you there. So Another look at that goal for Hannah. Nice feed across, like you said, the sauce across, and the nice finish on the backhand. Yeah, for sure. All right. Was individual so effort. Individual effort by Hannah to get it. We didn't want and we have Hannah doubling their shots now with four shots through two periods of play. They're going to need to get some more offense going, you'd think, to be fully back into this game as we take a look at some of the replays here. For sure. For sure. Right now, I would uh, I would, I would, would bet on Hokurit winning this game, but things can change quickly in NHL. We all know that. Yeah, it was not long after, you know, we had mentioned that it seemed like Hokurit was taking the play. Uh, you know, that Hannah got right back into it. So you just really never know with this only being a two to one game. If Hannah scores, it could be anyone's game. Yeah, yeah for sure. This is, uh, like I said, uh, when looking at the lineups, this is a super important game for Hokurit. They're tight in points with Hannah and uh, they have two games, two games. Uh, more they played two games more so this would this would even out the gap pretty nicely if they could pull this one out could be a good offensive chance developing there although they just lost the puck now we have hannah trying to get out of their own zone in through the neutral zone in over the blue line trying to cut across and they get one to the back of the net what a beautiful one timer and that's a smooth damn snipe yeah that was a nice and done play um Hannah has used their uh, left side less than I thought. Less than I thought looking at the stats, but there was a great breakout. Defenseman center, left wing, and then a perfect time pass to Hazard Laser in the in the right side who buries it and he had the one timer trait, which really helps there. And uh, yeah. found the top corner. From what I'm seeing too, I mean that you know you said that not a lot of their offense is developing from the left side, but the pass did come from the left side there, so even though the goal did come from the right. Two to two game here now. Anyone's game, we had just called that. It's going yeah, to be interesting to see how this now goes. Now it's wide open. If I would be Hokurit, I wouldn't, would, would not be happy with the situation. Uh, 
there. They've mostly controlled the game, but uh, it doesn't show up on the scoreboard, so now they have to get the momentum back and uh, start creating some offense again. Yeah, like you said, it's a game of momentum, so it's going to be interesting to see if Hanna can use this momentum from their second goal here and try to generate some more offense. Right now, Okrit trying to break in, but that one was called offside. Sometimes in the in the red line when or in the neutral zone when there's not that much space, I would I would like to see some dump dumpings in this game with the pochecks and everything. It's it's pretty effective. Like there are uh, Yoni, oh, and we oh, yeah, have yeah. another goal. It's funny because it seems like the chat had called that Hannah was gonna win this one, 85 to 15 for Hannah, and there you go. They've got their first lead of this game. Three to two. What do you see on this play? Great play to get the space in front. Hokurit defending a bit loose, but uh, that's just a perfect timed shot uh, to the left left post. Hazard Lazard, Hazard Lazard again. Captain scoring two goals in the third period. Uh, putting the team on his back. So now it's now it's Hanas Hanas game to lose right now. But I I think they have to play some tighter defense to pull pull off this game. But we'll see what happens. Yeah, you mentioned the offensive production from their captain, and obviously that's what you want to see from your leader leading your team here. Yeah, for sure. Laser trying to get that one through, but he does not. Now we're headed back the other direction. Pass across to the center. Now back to the defenseman who's working down into the corner, but they lose possession. Hannah just trying to get out of their own zone. Yeah, interesting to see now. Hanna has gotten uh, control of the game in the third period. Do they just stay stay back and start defending uh, their lead, or do they do they keep playing a bit aggressive and uh, keep looking for more goals? I mean, so far it seems like they're not letting their foot off the gas as they try to break in there with a nifty move, but uh, he loses possession. Now we have Hokorit heading the other way. They try to get in over the blue line, but they lose the puck. A lot of neutral zone play here as neither team can really get anything going with seven minutes and 30 seconds remaining in this third period of play. Yeah, we're we're uh, seeing a lot of loose pucks and a lot of uh, puck position losses in the neutral zone. Like I said earlier, I wouldn't mind seeing a dump there. With the pochecks in this game, if you're even close to the defender uh, going to the corner, you have a you have a good chance to you have a good chance to win that puck. I know lots a lot of teams don't uh, really look for the dump and chase. And uh, I wouldn't recommend it, but sometimes it's good to good to switch it up, and and it keeps the defense on on their tails a bit if you if you throw some dumps every now and then. Very true, very true. It looks like we do have a timeout here, almost ending. You know, it's it's interesting, like you said, with the dump and chase. I mean, Hokuret also has the right-handed uh, right winger, as you said, that might be beneficial in terms of trying to retrieve those pucks on dump ins. Exactly. Yeah, you're you're totally right. It's easier to pick up those pucks when you have a right-handed player on the right side. All right, I believe we're ready to get back into the action. Just under seven minutes remaining in this third period. Three to two for Hannah right now. Gressou is going to hold on to that one, and we will see an offensive zone faceoff for Hokret, who has been on top of the faceoff so far this evening. Yeah, huge, huge faceoff here. Let's see what happens. And they do win it and a shot on, but that one goes low and it looks like an easy save for Gressu. Yeah, great, uh, great, great coming out of the net from Gressu there. If he would have stayed back in the net, that would have been a more dangerous shot. Yeah, it's always good when your goalie feels confident enough to cut off those angles. Like you said, it would have been a much easier shot had he not come out to challenge that one. Yeah, for sure. In that, when you have a when you have a player that's wide open in the in the slot in this game, if you if your goal is not coming out, it's a good chance uh, that snipe is going in top corner. 
And finally, Hannah does manage to win a draw, and here they come. Oh, and he holds on to that one and fires it low. Nice shot on by Laser there. Yeah, uh, ni nice try there. Hogarish goalie left the, left the front post a bit open. What, what, uh, what I, would, <laughs> I would never recommend, but nicely he got the recover there. We had one little chance there from Hokerit before now heading back the other direction. And they do manage to get possession of the puck in their own zone here, trailing by one with two minutes and 30 seconds left to go. Yeah, not, not a lot of time. We really, need to, we, we really need to see something here from Hokerit if they want to pull this game out. All right, down to the last minute of play as Laser tries to pass that one across, but it does go offside. 58.1 seconds left for Hokerit to try and tie this one up. I think uh, Hokerit keeps going to the, to the left side of the ice. They've had more success there to try to even this game up. Yeah, it seemed like early in the game they were going to that left side a lot like you had anticipated and they were getting a lot of good offensive chances and actually capitalizing on some of those. So, you know, not a lot of time left here to try and tie this one up. Let's see if the offense comes from that left side. As they I'm go not seeing the Yonda. Oh yeah, there's a good chance. There we go. It finds a way through somehow. Did you see how that one went in? I can't quite uh, keep track of that one. Let's take yeah, a little bit to see the replay. Replace, please. Uh, nice, nice uh, pressure from Yonder there. Get the puck in the offensive zone and try to force it in front of the net. Uh, Ezra was there again, but I think it it was an own goal by Hanna's defenseman. I'm pretty sure, but need to watch the replay. Definitely not the way that you want to see this game tied up, but still, now we get hopefully to see a very exciting OT. Counting down the last 10 seconds of the period here. Hannah's going to play that one up. And it looks like we are definitely going to overtime. Yeah, I've been told that the uh, own goals don't trigger replays, so I, I guess that's what must have happened there. Uh, then you called it. It would be nice it. to see that in a replay. A little yeah. look here at the replay. I believe this was their third goal of the game. Yeah, this nice exception of the pass, passes. drops it back. A couple quick passes, and that one's in the back of the net. Yeah, interesting to see. Interesting to see how the overtime goes here. I feel like the first two periods, Hokurit had had the game under control, honestly. But it it, it switched totally in the in the third period here. And I got some good scoring chances. And in my opinion, we're a bit on top. Hokurit maybe got a luckyish tying up goal. But interesting to see how this overtime will start. Yeah, I couldn't agree with you more. If you are Hannah or Hokerit in this game, what do you say either of these teams need to do in order to win this game? I think Hokerit needs to go back to what they did earlier. Um, in the offensive zone, they they are still creating chances, but they're having they're having some troubles in the neutral zone. So try to try to get some neutral zone plays plays going. Like I said, dump the puck in every now and then. And go from there. When they're in the offensive zone. Uh, they can get to in front of the net pretty nicely, and their their uh, defensemen are open. So I would continue continue playing through the defensemen and throwing pucks pucks to the net. Enough said. So it's more about these breakouts for you than in terms of how they can turn things around here. Yeah, yeah, for sure. If you see again, they didn't get to the zone. The neutral zone plays everything in sixes. Nice look, and there that one goes to the back of the net from a. An interesting angle as he is at the center of the circle there. Just rips that one home. Laser with a beautiful shot. And that's game, folks. Yeah, for me, this game uh, was decided on Hokurit's inability to get into the zone. After after the third period started, they didn't get many many zone entries. And because of that, Hana got a lot of counterattacks, which they, which they capitalized. And Hazard Laser with three goals, last three goals from Hanna, putting the team on his back, especially the last two goals, pretty individual efforts, finding the finding the correct uh, time and space to to shoot that shot uh, to the blocker side. But I would uh, I need to throw a bit of slack 
with in uh, Willinos way there. Hokurits goal in that final goal. Hazard Laser went to the blocker side once. He's in the he's in the middle again in the exact same spot and finds the same corner. And the blocker side was a bit open, so I'm, I would I would expect the goalie to have that one. But for for three win from for Hanna. Definitely a tightly contested game as we were expecting to have. And there we go, a 4-3 to three win in overtime for Hanna HC coming out on top of Hokerit in game one of our matchup. Huge, huge win from Han for Hanna if you, if you look at the standings. I think Hokerit, Hokerit can't be happy about that, but they still have another game to... Uh, take the full points, I think, uh, with Hana winning this game, uh, Hokurit kind of has to, has to win the next one in regulation to keep with Hana, Hana in the standings. Yeah, I mean, those standings were very close before this matchup started, and like you said, you know, every, every game is going to matter here, so Hana coming out on top of this first one in a very closely contested matchup. It's going to be interesting to see how this next game goes. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I, if Hogwarts just can can find a way to get to the zone consistently, I I see them winning winning game too. For me, they were the better team, better team in this game. They just struggled with the zone entries, especially at the latter part of the game. But when they got to the zone, they the great, great chances uh, from the blue line and got the got the puck in front front a lot. I feel like this saucer play, Hana Hana got it to back post, beautiful play. But other than that, the goals the goals were coming from pretty far out. So uh, I'm, I would be expecting Hokorit to shut those down a bit better in the next game. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see how these teams adjust. You know, we just had a very close game and we had some things that were working really well for Hokurit. And then they just, like you said, you know, if if Coach Eki is saying you guys got to vary up your break-ins, then you got to do that. So we'll see if they can do that in this next game here as we go back to the studio. What do you think, Eki? I mean, like you said, they got to have to vary up their defense or their offense a little bit in terms of how they break into the zone. What about Hannah? What does Hannah need to do to come out on top again in this game? I feel like Hannah was very dangerous on the counterattacks. Keep, uh, keep uh, stopping Hokurit on the on their own blue line and coming go, going out uh, to the counterattacks from there. That's how they scored that overtime winner there. But they really need to focus on their uh, own zone uh, defense. They there in front of the net was was a bit open most of the game and if they could shut those down and keep uh, keep Hokurit even out of their zone like they did most of the third period and over time I could see Hana winning uh, winning the next game by pretty big numbers but we'll see how it goes. Yeah, I mean, like you said, uh, if they were able to, you know, shut down a little bit of those point chances, whether that is, like you said earlier in the broadcast, getting their wingers to play the point a little bit more, or maybe even having their center and their defensemen collapse a little bit more in front of the net to stop some of those rebound opportunities, this might have been a very different game. Although it was close, 4-3 to three win for Hannah, this could be a much different game depending on how these teams play. Um, obviously we want to do a big thank you to our sponsors. We have Wilhelm, Lockerty, and ST Hockey, and we are ready for a little ad break here before we get ready for our game two of this matchup. Minkä päällä lakukastike maistuu parhaalta? Ei voi tietää ellei kokeile. Kouvolan lakritsi. Vastamaan yhdellä yhtä vastaan. Loistava nälkäisen pelaajan ratkaisu. Oi mennään. Luukulla ollaan valmiina. Ja sitten katsotaan. Kaikki kestää. Vanha ratkaiseva. Kiekko lapaa. Ilma veivi. Klassikko. Maali. Wilhelm vei todella komeasti nakki kioskille. Werneri nakki on loistava vahvistus Wilhelm joukkueelle. Welcome back to this ECL Pro podcast in week four. Uh, just excited to get underway with our second game here. We had a very closely contested first game, and I think we're pretty much ready to go with our second game here. So 
like you said, Eki, a little bit different uh, in terms of the break-ins for Okret, and maybe we'll see a different game. But also, if the defensive side of uh, Hannah's play is a little bit more sound, we could see you know, a much higher scoring game and a, a much lower score for Hokkaret. Yeah, I, I would put it this way. Um, Hokkaret in the neutral zone play and uh, Hana in their defensive zone play. Whoever, whoever that does, does better in that aspect will, will win this game. Well, we'll see how these teams adjust and we'll see what this ends up being as we get ready for this next game in this matchup. I'm excited to see how this one goes. And our next matchup is going to be between Afrodunk and Totoret. So make sure you stick around for that one. All right, I think we're about to head down to the ice. And we are ready to get this game underway. A draw. Won again by Hokurit. As they seem to be getting the better of the matchup so far on the draws. Yeah, it uh, it was 15 to 10 at some point in that last game. I think it ended up being pretty even. So, so Hanna center Mika kind of kind of got it back there in the end of that game one. Looked like a little dump and chase opportunity there, and they do manage to retain the puck here, and a nice feed across, trying to get that one on net, but he could not get it through. But they do maintain possession. Laser. The man who scored a hat trick in the last game trying to get a goal going early here. He laser tried to go 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 to that blocker side again. Not surprised there, but it was blocked this time. Ooh, a good look in front there, but a nice defensive play to knock that one away. Yeah, it was laser again, and if you if you saw uh Kuritz goal villain who was already moving to the blocker side, so he's Really and we had a laser. breakaway there, very short breakaway, but nonetheless, he's in all alone, splitting the defense and manages to get a goal here. What a beautiful yeah, it, goal. It's what I was look, uh, talking about. Hokurit loses the puck in the neutral zone, Hanna's counterattack, and it's a, it's a goal right away. Nice pass by Hazard Laser, he's been the man of the, man of the show during this series. So far, and uh, nothing you can do as a goalie there. No, you're right about that. Were you surprised on his ability to be able to break through the defense there? Yeah, but that what's hap that's what happens a bit when you lose the lose the puck in the neutral zone. Uh, you, you, that, they had pretty pretty good space there to do do what they want on the on the counter attack. So, yeah. All right, we have Hannah now in over the blue line, trying to get another one going here. Okrit now with possession, and there's a delayed penalty on the play. What are we going to see here? Looks like charging. Yeah. yeah, charging. Charging is an interesting one. If you if you hustle a bit before you hit that, that uh, you can you can go to the box. That's a that's a kind of a tough penalty to take from a clean hit, basically. But th yeah, this you're was right. this was very good for Okrit. Uh, getting more space, and they were very good on the power play in the last game. So. Let's see if they can score here. Yeah, let's see what happens as you see them going back to the well of that point shot there. That one didn't find its way through. <coughs> yeah, they're going for that big tipper a lot. Uh, Hellstrom in front is... Uh, he's all the time in front of the net looking for those tips and rebounds. Something interesting to note is that Hokkaret's uh, power play has not been great, but they get one there. They only had a 36.84 power play percentage before this game, but they do manage to convert on this play. What did you see here, Aki? I would say 36% is, is pretty good personally, but that was a nice play. Nice day to day play again. Uh, they Hogwarts defensemen have been have been very good in the offensive zone in this game. And they, they strike again. Most of Hogwarts uh, goals have gone from the blue line. Here on the other side of the ice, we do have a 95.24% on the penalty kill, but they were unable to get the kill that time as they fire one. Another beautiful goal, back-to-back -back goals, and we see now a 2-1 to -one lead for Hannah. Yeah, Hazard Lazar again in front to the blocker side. Uh, 
you can't let you can't let Hazard Larsen to get get that open in front, but at the same time, that's now three shots. Three shots Willino has faced to the blocker side from the middle. At some point, you you just need to need to start saving those with a with a better percentage. Even though it wasn't wasn't great a great defense, but you can't let the same goal go in three times. Yeah, well said. You do have to adjust to be able to stop those. We have a play developing here. Nice little break in, spin move. Ooh, a good breakup of that play, as that was a good offensive chance. In over the blue line, they try to chip that one down the boards, but they lose possession. Hannah now coming back the other way. Little pass up, passes it off the boards, but they fail to receive that puck. Yoni's going to jump, jump that one all the way down into the corner as they try the dump and chase. He gets it back. Little pass across and a beautiful one-timer. There we go. They dump and, cha dump and chase it once and it ended up in a goal. In a goal you right called away, it, so Eki. Yeah, you know, if you listen to Coach Eki, folks, you're going to get some goals. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, they got a bit lucky that they got the puck in the corner, but that's that's still great to see them switching up the neutral zone play because that's, that's been their... Uh, Achilles heel, you could say this this series. So. Yeah, you called yeah, it before this game, so yes. All right. We have a tie game early in the or late in the first period, I should say, but early in this game. Another chance there. Beautiful chance from right in front and a point blank save. Yeah, this is a very, very interesting game games. I feel like lots of teams can create a lot like both of these teams create a lot of offense, so it's it's pretty much a matter of who just capitalize on their chances better. Well said. Another opportunity brewing here. Down into the corner, maintains possession, circles out front and tries to throw that one on, but didn't get much on it. Yeah, both of the both of these teams uh, seem to seem to focus on offense a lot, kind of forgetting the defense aspect of the game <laughs> game sometimes. Hey, that's okay with me. That means we get a yeah, nice that, that's entertaining that's okay game for us. <laughs> yeah. All right, we have we have Hannah trying to break in there, but they could not get in over the blue line. Okorit's going to readjust in their own zone. Let's see if they try to and get that dump and chase going again. They almost got it going there. Hannah back the other direction. Down into the corner. Tries to feed that one across. You've seen them go for the one-timer a lot so far in this series. Those are I I hate I hate to see those uh, puck losses on the neutral zone. Three and three, you have uh, so much space and you lose the puck in the neutral zone. At, like it's it's really not the not the worst thing in the world if you can't find anything else. To just throw a saucer or something in the boards and get get the puck in deep and hope go from there. Good defensive pickup there as there was a possible rebound opportunity at the end of the period, but we go into the second period of play here with a very close game. Super entertaining first period, lots of scoring chances. Lots of scoring chances everywhere and uh, let's hope the game, game, game speed continues like this. Yeah, not a lot of stoppages in play yet either, so you love to see the continuous play and the continuous action as we have a 2-2 two -to -two game here. Yeah, and some teams like to reset the puck a lot in their breakouts, but we're not seeing uh, that at all here. I don't know if it's a good or a bad thing, but it seems to be working offensively for for both of them. Take a look at one of the goals here so far for Hannah. Just that split of the D and the last little move before reaching the goaltender and he gets that one through. Yeah, we've seen some uh, beautiful goals. Goals in the first period. Certainly a tightly contested game as we go into this second period of play with a 2-2 two -to -two score. Uh, interesting to see if uh, game speed uh, keeps keeps being as high as it, as uh, it was in the in the first period, or does the teams want to slow down a bit? Laser now spinning, trying to feed that one across. They do maintain possession back to Laser. Just holding there, and he almost got the puck back, but they do get the puck back here. Hannah throws one on and almost tipped into the back yeah, of the net, but a nice save. 
That was a nice try. Uh, I've been waiting for those a bit from Hana. That was one of the first deflections they tried to go for and almost, almost worked right away. Yeah, you're right. They haven't really utilized the point so much yet. It was nice to see them vary up their offense a little bit here. Another opportunity, perhaps, coming out of the corner. Feeds that one across, but that one gets blocked before finding the net. They seem to love yeah, the now, ones now, Hokurit is, now I feel like Hokurit is really struggling with Hana's. Um, Hana's offense here. They Hana can kind of find whatever they want in the slot, and those passes are going through with a high percentage. Could have tried to get something going there, but they were unable to maintain possession as they're now back in their own zone. Trying to get something going here. They hold up as they would have been offside there. Just struggling to break in. They dump it down. As it looked like Hannah was practically playing the trap there at the blue line. Yeah, they've... Uh... They've done that most of the most of the series, but then at the same time when they trap, they if they have a cl uh, even a little bit of a shot shot to shot to take the puck, all of their forwards go up right away, and that's how they're creating these uh, counter attacks. Big hit there, and they still have possession though. Laser throws that one on a little backhander, perhaps looking to fool the goaltender or get a rebound, but nothing was fooling. Will knew there. Yeah, I feel like longer this series I have gone on, uh, onwards, the more Hana has kind of taken control of uh, control of this series. Well, could it trying to break in there, but that one goes offside. And, you know, like you said, once they tried the the dump and chase, they capitalized immediately. I wonder if they'll go back to that opportunity and that try. Yeah, yeah, I agree with you. I would like to see them. Go 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 to that more because they really can't can't uh, break out to the zone. So right and there now. you go. We see yeah. one happen there, and they do retrieve the puck and immediately go for a one-timer chance. Perhaps they should have moved the puck around a little bit more there, but nonetheless, it was no, an that, opportunity. That, that, bad penalty there, but that was a great breakout. Get the puck to the boards and get it, then get it in deep. That's what I would like to see. How could it? do more and that seems to be working for them so why not keep with it but important uh important penalty kill here from for Hokurit uh, if Hana would get the lead here I, I don't see them bouncing back the way where this game has gone uh, Hana, Hana seems to be a bit on top here and we have Hana trying to break in and they did look for an opportunity there but there was a massive hit Laser now with possession, looking for an opportunity. They try to center that one, but it didn't find its way through. Now bound behind the net and back out off the post. Laser trying to get one through again there. Some good zone time for Hannah. A little spin move goes just wide. Back to the point. Uh. They're trying to sneak their way in. Laser trying to get a shot off, but it looks like there's going to be a delayed penalty on the play here. Yeah, the Hokurit is all over the place here. Hana is doing whatever they want in the offensive zone. It feels like they have, <laughs> feels like they have as much space as they they want to want to get in get in the slot and create scoring chances. So this is, I'm expecting to see a goal here on this power play if if that same uh, power play continues. Oh, a nice shot from the point there as they send that one across. Now behind the net, trying to circle out. Laser loses the puck. Now back to the point. Kongi across. And Mika now tries to get it to his winger. And they do keep the puck in the zone, even though there was an Aaron pass. Laser across. And he gets the rebound and tries to throw that one on. But some good defense keeps it out. Hokurit is playing a very fair penalty kill. Their center is uh, basically playing us. Uh, playing the center position there, uh, but he's not like playing the square, so there's a lot of space in the high slot. There's only Yoni there. I don't know if that's a bland thing or not, but Good it save certainly there. isn't working so far. Yeah, great saves. I feel like Hokurit is very lucky that they didn't allow a goal during those uh, two penalty kills. Have yeah, so they had a chances. man in front too. They, I think their goaltender's lucky that there wasn't a tip on the play. Yeah, for sure. 
And they win the draw in the offensive zone again. They've been on top of it in this game. Trying to send that one on net. Good play and good read by the goaltender there to make that save as he comes across. That's the end of the power play. Okurit now trying to go back the other direction and get some offense going themselves. Hazard across for Ahonen. Gets the puck, tries to throw one on. Not much of an opportunity. Laser has it, though, and that man has a laser, so you got to watch out. Yeah, I went for the blocker side again. <laughs> Familiar to you. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah. back to the box. This game is not looking so good right now, but this is a game of momentum. If they kill a couple of these penalties, you never know. Maybe the momentum will go back the other way. Yeah, this has been all Hanna right now. Hokurita is just surviving and uh, <laughs> keeping in the game. Keeping in, just trying to keep in the game. But yeah, they, they really need to try to kill this one. Kongi holding it at the point across for his winger. And they do manage to get that out of the zone. Good job by Hokurit. Now in over the blue line, down into the corner, spins out. He keeps using that move, and it works so well. Why not go back to it? Yeah, for sure. Like, like I said earlier, like the way Hogurit is defending, there's so much space in the high slot. Three guys in front of the net, you can't do that when you're on the penalty kill. Uh, their left winger, Yonde, is the only one being a bit more higher up in that, uh, in that, in, in that defensive zone. So Hana just has all the space in the world. In the high slot, I would like to see them going going there a bit more like they've, to be honest, had. They just haven't uh, been able to score. 10 to 5 in shots so far in this game in favor of Hannah. We've had a good game so far. and uh, But like you said, it seems like Hannah's kind of having their way with this game in terms of the offensive space they've been able to create. Yeah, totally different to the first game. Felt like in the first game, Hokurit was a bit bit under control in my opinion, but uh, this game Hokurit has just been surviving. I feel like Hana could easily be leading by two, like two or three goals if they capitalized on their chances. Yeah, I think that's an interesting point about the way the ECL matchups work. I mean, if you're playing back-to-back -back games, it's almost like a playoff feel where you have the opportunity to adjust between games. Yeah, for sure. That's a, that's a huge thing. Two games can be totally different to each other. In 38 seconds left to go on this penalty. As they dump that one down, they do get possession here. Just try to kill the remaining time. Good break in here. Laser circles back, throws it to the point, and he drives in, but gets knocked off the puck. Ooh, they try to... Fire one from the side of the net, oddly enough. Now they have a lot of, lot of space on the counter attack. Yeah, I feel like Hokurit is very good when they just have the space uh, space to enter the zone and uh, when, they, when they get to the zone with good, with good speed, but they, they struggle a bit when uh, they're facing that full trap. Down into the offensive zone, but he loses possession behind the net. Hannah's going to pick that one up and send it out. Mika across. Now Laser has possession. That's a man you do not want to have the puck because he had a, a nice uh, nice hat trick in the first matchup. Yeah, you could say he's uh, in uh, Hokurit's goal. He's had a, had a bit with all of, those, all of those blocker shots, I'm sure. Villino doesn't want to uh, face any more Hazard Laser shots. Looking at the stats here, Hokurit had a seven has has had a seventy percent penalty kill during this ECL, which is not the greatest. And uh, even though they didn't allow one there, I I can't say I'm not not surprised with the way the way they they were defending. Nice but penalty. there we go. We have a goal on something that looked a little innocent in terms of offensive chances. What happened yeah, on this one? Esenrova has been very dangerous in the offensive zone uh, the whole game. Perfect time pass there by Amseho, the leading defenseman in points. Great pass and uh, Esenrova the whole uh, two games has been able to able to finish those plays in front. I believe that was his third goal already in these two games. All right, and now we have a three to two lead. 
interesting to see how the lead changes so far in this series. Yeah, this is uh, <laughs> this has been a weird game. Feels like Hana has been all over Hokurit, but Hokurit is leading. So no, it's just the way she goes sometimes. Right yeah, yeah, that's the, that's the way it goes. And great call, the call tending there on the, on the penalty kill. And yeah, this is honestly kind of like an the opposite of what we saw last game. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I feel like the last game was a bit more even though this game. Feels like Hana has been a bit more over, over Hokurit, but but yeah, a bit a bit like last game. And they do get in over the blue line here, and Laser trying to feed that one across for the one timer, but it does not find its way through. Now Hana ten minutes to go in the in the third period, down one. Last last game they were on the on the lead in the end of the game, so. So uh, interesting to see here how they how they try to get this game tied, tied up. Yeah, you're not wrong. There's a fair bit of time left in this third period compared to the last game. So we'll see if Hokurik can hold on to this lead and split the series in two, or if we're gonna see you know if we're gonna see Hannah bounce back here and try to tie this one up. Yeah, for sure. The regulation win for uh, Hokurik would be huge here. Because they forced the first game to overtime, so they would win the win the series points with a 3-2 split. Huge in the playoff run, even that one point. Hokurit with a beautiful chance from their winger Yoni there as they but uh it looks like Hannah decided to keep the play going here. Yeah. Going over the um, another another penalty for Hokurit. There's been there's been a lot in this game. Didn't actually see what happened. Yeah, this could certainly be a different game if it weren't for all the penalty trouble that they've had. Yeah, for sure. No, they just uh, <laughs> need to need to survive. Need to survive this. I think Hanna will throw everything at them. Interesting to note that Hanna won the prediction again in the chat. This time a little bit closer, seventy-one to twenty-nine, as they. Just got a chance there that went wide. Yeah, in the viewers' eyes, Hanna looks 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 to be the clear favorite here, and I feel like gameplay-wise, it's it's shown in this game. But but Hokurit is putting up a good fight. Really good puck movement there. Um, unfortunately, it did not result in a chance, as it was blocked. Hanna now trying to break in. They send that one down into the corner, but it's easily retrieved. Just a dump into the corner as there was nothing going there. Now we have Hannah coming back the other way. Three minutes remaining in this game as they dump it into the corner, trying to tie this up. They do retrieve the puck here. Now back at the point, back to Laser. Across for the defenseman, but they lose possession. Laser manages to pick it back up, throws it across. Beautiful one-timer, and we have a tie game. Yeah, great. Uh, I was about to say great penalty kill by Hokurit, but... Uh... Yeah, I lost puck there in the own zone. A bit unfortunate, and then uh, they found the found the one timer in front, and there we go, back back in the net. Um, Hokurit has had trouble defending those cross creases in front of the net this series. Yeah, it but, definitely uh, feels say, like they've used I, that I a lot say over, so far. Yeah, overall, I would say a very deserved uh, tying up goal from for Hanna. For me, they're being the better team in this game, despite the. Uh, them being down earlier. Yeah, beautiful play there as they manage to laser just takes his time it seems and sends that one across for the one timer. Yeah, what, what a pass by laser. Laser there he easily could have could have shot it as well with the way his his shots are going in. Yeah, I think one of the things that stands out the most to me about his game is his patience. For for sure, he's he, he's a. Uh, from personal uh, experience with playing with him sometimes he's, he has he has great patience to look for those passes and shots and when to keep the puck he knows exactly what to do big hit there as they try to go for the backhand wrap three to three game under a minute left to go here good offensive chance but that one's blocked 
They maintain possession behind the net here. Kicks that one out to the defenseman, MCH. MCH out of the corner, fires that one, and it goes off the post. That's a pretty shot up. there, but almost, almost went in. Yeah, definitely don't see, expect to see a lot of shots from the goal line, especially that far into the corner, but, I mean, you can't deny the results, that one going just off the post. Yeah, interesting to see here what Hokurit is going to do in the zone entry. Great, great play there. One of the first time times in this game. Oh, yo, yo, Hokurit got to the got to the zone against the trap. Oh, yo, yo, yo. oh my gosh! 0.5 seconds left on the clock, and that's gonna be game. What an opportunity late in this game, as Hannah is gonna come out on top. Oh. That hurts. That hurts if you're Hokurit. 0.5 seconds remaining. Again, that cross crease in front. You just need to be ready there with two seconds left. Puck is in the corner. You need to have the guys in front so that doesn't happen. That's that is, yeah. That's pretty unacceptable for me. And uh, yeah, ended up kind of kind of giving away giving up away the point there to Hana. But overall, I felt like a very deserved. Result from game two, Hokurit. I feel like Hokurit played better in game one, had a shot in game two also, but uh, both games ended up on us way, and I feel like it was it was deserved results at the end of the day. Yeah, I have to agree with you, and it's interesting, like you said, this game not going to overtime now. That definitely plays into the standings. Yeah, every point is every point is crucial. Those overtime, even those overtime points, can be a difference maker in the end of the regular, regular season. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, Hana, if you look at the stats here, clear 12 18 shots, time on attack. Uh, Hana had triple, triple diamond. Uh, time on attack than uh, Falkurit did, so. so so despite that last goal being a, being a bit easy <laughs> in a way I would say uh, like I said earlier a deserved result I would I would love to see a replay of that final goal to see what happened let's see if we if we see one yeah I'd like to see that as well like you said though I, I would agree with you I mean I think that was a deserved result even though it was a closely contested matchup yeah, yeah, that's the way. That's the way it goes. But uh, horrible, just terrible, uh, a terrible way to end if you're Hokurit. Easily could have won game one, had a shot to win game two, and just couldn't uh, couldn't shut the door at the at the end of the at the end of the third here, being up one with two minutes to go. Yeah, it, you know, I don't care which team you are, but it is always going to hurt when you lose with 0.5 seconds on the clock. Not yeah, ideal. As you see, there's four guys in the sort of there in the middle, but nobody's covering Hazard Laser. Uh, I have to say what happened there. Probably two seconds to go. Everybody's kind of just waiting for the time to end and they're puck watching. Not watching a Hazard Laser being open. Open in the slot and that costed Hogwarts this time. Certainly a tough way for it to end as we're back in the studio now. A quick thank you to our sponsors, Wilhelm, Lackerty, and ST Hockey. Thank you so much, everyone, for tuning in to this Sports Gamer broadcast in the ECL Pro Division in week four. Uh, like you said, Eki, a, a, a well-deserved win for Hannah in that matchup. Couple of really close games. Hannah just edging it out there in the the uh, final seconds of that game to win in regulation, winning the first game in OT. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think Hana can go to go to sleep with a smile on their face. But uh, yeah, like Hokurit <laughs> was pretty frustrating to watch. I feel like at times they played hey, great hockey, especially in the offensive zone. Great, at some some great D to D plays. Good, uh, good. Good timings in front, get those get those passes going, rebounds, deflections, but 
<laughs> they were struggling a bit in zone entries and then just couldn't stop those one-timers and those hazard lasers uh, snipes in their own zone. And that ended up costing them points today. Uh, possibly even the maximum four points. They ended up with one out of four points. Uh, a couple a couple of small things would have gone differently easily. I think could have won both games. Yeah, you got to admit one is better than none, but still, I think if they had Coach Eki in their corner, things might have been different. I don't know. You might want to <laughs> open up a service and start coaching some <laughs> of these teams, Eki. Yeah, yeah maybe, maybe I have a job after my playing career. Like exactly, coaching, yeah. <laughs> coaching teams. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to get ready for a break here, although we do have a second matchup coming after this between Afro Dunk and Totoret. So make sure you tune in for that one. Don't go anywhere. We'll be back. <laughs> 